Hello, welcome. We are looking at simple interest and payday loans in this video. So take a moment, read the problem, and pause the video. Press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so in this problem, we're told that Caroline took out a $606 payday loan, and in order to take that loan out, she had to pay a, this finance charge, $72.72. .72. Now, if she's unable to pay off the loan in 14 days, now with a payday loan, you must pay off the whole thing all at once. So she's unable to do that in order to not get a penalty or to have those funds seized from her checking account. She would have to repay that finance charge, right? Repay it. So every 14 days, like it starts over again. So after those next 14 days, if she can't pay it, she has to pay them another finance charge over and over and over again. And the idea is that we're trying to find the simple interest, what will it be, if she's unable to pay off the loan for 308 days. So the first thing you want to do is look at that 308 days and say, well, how many complete pay periods is that? So we take 308, that's the number of days, and we divide it by 14 days, the number of days in a pay period. That'll tell us how many times she'll have to renew the loan, in other words, how many times she'll have to pay that finance charge so let's calculate that, get my calculator. So 308 divided by 14, 14. So 22 pay periods. So she, that means she has to repay that finance charge 22 times. So let's find out how much would she have to pay? 22 times 72, 72, right? 22 pay, pay periods times, $72.72. What does that equal? Let's calculate it. And this is where it really starts to add up. Um, so 22 times almost a full year, 72.72. $1,599.84. So $1,599.84. So let's keep track of this so far. In order to get this loan for $606, uh, she had to pay finance charges of almost $1,600. Now, what we want to figure out is, well, what would that be as an interest? What would that represent as interest? So in order to figure that out, we take the total finance charge, the 1599.84, and we divide it by the principal, which is the amount we started with, the $606, and that will give us a decimal, so let's actually condense this to one step. That'll give us a decimal, it's the ratio of the interest, and multiply it by 100 to write it as a percent. So let's calculate that. So we just take total finance charges, 1599.84, divided by 606, we get 2.64, and then multiply that by 100, and we get 264, that's our percent. 264% interest over that time period. It's an amazing amount, right, to pay for that loan. This is why payday loans are often problematic because they lead to such high interest amounts. All right, I hope that helped.